everybody and welcome to the channel. It's Paul Yester here and today Dead by Daylight released some statistics. So we're going to go through this and see what they have to tell us about stats in the game here. So they put out this tweet that says coffee with a side of data. There's no better way to start your day. And then they have links here that you can read about this blog post either on Reddit or the forums. But we're not going to Reddit because that place is dangerous. So we're sticking to the official forums here. So let's see what they have to say. But first, I want to let you know that my apparel partner into the AM is having an incredible sale on graphic tees up to 70% off. I'm wearing the Lunar Molotov shirt right now as I record this video. I love the softness and style of all of these shirts here. Actually, I just received a new one here in the mail today. This Shadow Stalker Glow in the Dark shirt, that one came in the mail. And I also got uh, the Galaxy End tee. I got that one in the mail as well. There are a lot of really great styles here. I ordered some more last night. Let me show you what I ordered here. And uh, you can stack my discount code Polly for an additional 10% off on all these sale prices here. Let me see, what did I get? I bought this one I already have. This is a great shirt, the Pickleball Cosmic Court tee. I love that one. Um, what else is here? The, the, I ordered this one, the Fallen King. This is a double-sided shirt with the graphic on the back. I ordered that one. Uh, I really like that one. It reminds me of the anniversary event graphics so much. Uh, what else? I ordered four, I think. Let me find you another one here that I ordered. Oh, I ordered this one. The Astro Striker here with the soccer ball. It's a great one. A lot of great shirts here. You should really check it out. Amazing discounts. And again, you can stack my code Polly on top of all this to save an additional 10% off as well. Make sure you check them out. And if you think the Into the AM t-shirts look great, well, you should know that they just launched a brand new product called the All Day Pants. These are the epitome of versatile style for any occasion. The pants seamlessly bridge the gap between sophistication and casual comfort, making them the perfect choice for everyday adventures from the office to the golf course to a night out. They're crafted with premium four-way stretch fabric and they guarantee all-day comfort, adapting effortlessly to your every move. And remember, you can use my code Polly to save 10% off on these pants as well. Okay, so here we are on the official forums with this article, Stats, March 2024. Starts out with the hillbilly kill rates, and these are his kill rate stats before and after he got his buffs. Wow, to the shock of no one. His kill rate stats have gone up from 54% to 63%. Smells like we need a nerf. Just kidding, just kidding. Uh, or, or am I? And his usage rate has also increased from 2% pick rate to 8%. That's pretty high. What are the, the stats here? This is from, uh, let's see, January 31st to um, March 11th. Huh, interesting. Okay. Kicking things off, we wanted to take a look at the Hillbilly's recent update and see how it has affected his strength and popularity. We've seen a substantial increase in both his usage rate and his kill rate across all MMRs. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Killer picks. Most used killers between January 31st and March the 11th. So we have at number one, the Hillbilly at 8% pick rate, the most chosen killer. I guess he did have some challenges in the tome, right? I think so. Uh, Huntress at number two at 7%. Deathslinger at number three, 6%. Wraith, fourth, 5%. Chucky, fifth, 5%. Wesker the Mastermind at sixth at 4%. Legion, seventh place, 4%. Trapper. 8th place, 4%. Michael Myers, ninth place, 4%. And Ghostface in 10th at 4%. This update skyrocketed the Hillbilly to the top of the list of the most popular killers. The Deathslinger also saw a noticeable bump after being featured in the Tome Challenges. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, skill checks, okay. 70% of the skill checks are good. 23% are greats, and 7% are missed altogether. Skill check perks. Huntress Lullaby makes 14% of skill checks missed. Unnerving Presence, 13% of skill checks are missed. 
Merciless Storm, 13% are missed. Polrophobia, 12% missed. Overcharge, 12% missed. And Oppression, 10% missed. From February 20th to March 20th. Have you ever thought about how many skill checks are hit or missed? It turns out that 70% of all skill checks are good, 23% are great, while 7% are missed entirely. Among high MMR players, this becomes 63% good, 33% great, and 4% missed. It's better at hitting skill checks, I guess. If you're curious, we also gather data on which perks cause survivors to miss the most skill checks. Hmm. So I wonder when they say which perks cause survivors to miss the most skill checks. Is this recording skill checks that were um, affected by these perks or just these perks were in the game, you know? Because you could have a killer that doesn't kick any gens even though they have oppression or overcharge and maybe people never uh, have the, those perks applied to them. Hmm, not sure. Interesting. Interesting nonetheless. I'm actually surprised that Merciless Storm isn't the highest because that would apply to like every generator that's worked on. Maybe Lullaby, uh, the, the, the totem could be cleansed and not be in play anymore. Polrophobia, I'm also surprised that isn't higher. Those skill checks are super hard to hit when you're in Terror Radius. So I think probably... These are taken from just if they're in game, like not if like how many skill checks are missed inside of a terror radius while healing for Colrophobia, right? Because obviously Colrophobia isn't going to affect um, generator skill checks. So I wonder if this is just how many skill checks are missed in games that these perks exist. Not sure. End game collapse. 992,598,717 times the end game collapse was triggered. And during those times, this is what, uh, what range here? So we're looking at May 7th of, whoa, oh, from 2019. Oh, so this is like when, when end game was introduced, since end game was introduced. Oh yeah, here we go. It's been nearly five years since the endgame collapse was introduced, and since then, it has activated almost a billion times. That's a lot of matches. For those who find themselves on the hook at the end of the match, the outlook is not very good. Nearly twice as many survivors die at the end of the match than are saved. Okay, so late game kills in during endgame collapse, 412 million. Late game saves, 209 million. Yeah, that, that doesn't really surprise me. Man, that's a lot of matches, though. Five years, a billion matches. Amazing. Ah, I guess that's it. We'd love to share a mix of insightful and fun stats more regularly in the future. If you have suggestions for different kinds of data you'd like to know, be sure to let us know. This is kind of a fluff stats thing. What do you all think of this? Like, uh, I don't know. This is It's an interesting statistic, but... I don't know if I can really draw any conclusions other than the staggering amount of matches that have been played from this endgame collapse one. Uh, this one is a, in the middle, a little bit interesting. Obviously, these killer picks, that's some data you can really chew on. I like the, the data that I can really, you know, interpret the trends of the game with, like the, the perks that are being picked. I would like to see, like, a, a stat about the... Um, the escape rates for maps. This is kind of a fluff thing. I don't think this surprises anybody that Hillbilly's kill rate went up <laughs> with his buff. <laughs> no one should be shocked by that. They're like, oh, you know, Pikachu, no Pikachu faces here for this. What do you think of these stats? I do appreciate that they're putting these packages together for us. I just wish that, you know, the stats weren't as much fluff more substance i don't know exactly what kind of stats they could do for that um yeah i don't know uh, uh, map escape rates what else can you think of throw some ideas in the chat for different stats that you want to see and maybe the devs will read it and uh they can put together some stats that you think you would enjoy are you fine with this as it is a little bit of fluff here a little bit of substance there you like this format 
Do you want it to have more substance? Let me know what you think and what stats you'd like to see. But that's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate the time you spend here with me on my channel. And don't forget to go check out Into the AM and take advantage of that graphic t-shirt sale that they have going on before it's over. Make sure you're using code Polly to save even more on top of those stack discounts for that graphic t-shirt sale. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to take care of each other in and out of the fog. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye. It's a generous life for us. It's a generous life for us. Set a hiding, we do gens. Set a randoms, we got friends. It's a generous life.